outdoor carpeting or something to just help them with some traction in the boat. Heel up. Come on. Yeah, heel. They say you can't teach a dog, old dog, no trick, but uh, Roman's gonna be seven this fall. Heel, right here. He is ready to learn a new trick. So we'll, we'll see how this goes. I'm excited, like I, like I said before, this canoe thing's gonna be a complete game changer. You know, access to some spots, that, some spots that obviously I wouldn't have had before. Just being on foot and walking in from shore, so. We'll see what happens. It is heavier. It is like 85 pounds, but I did throw it on my back from the garage to here, so it's doable. But with gear and stuff, definitely going to want to have some sort of landing or the ability to, to pull it a little better. So we'll see what happens. I'm in a canoe, so it'll be good to just get reacquainted with myself. And then it'll be good, obviously, more importantly, for, for Rogan to, to get a feel of, you know, just how the canoe moves in the water, getting in, getting out, that kind of thing. And and um, it'll be lots of back and forth here the next couple weeks to just get as much time together as we can in the canoe so we're both comfortable in it uh, before duck hunting starts. And really, I think I'll be out. I won't get out opening weekend just with schedules and run into Wisconsin to do some goose hunting, but um, should be out that Monday after opener or Tuesday for sure. And that'll be our first crack at Minnesota duck season this year. And so you know, being able to have this canoe is going to be absolutely clutch to just be able to get back in spots that we weren't able to get to last year. And and so I'm excited. It should be a good year and, and much more to come. See what happens. All right, walking down to the little canoe spot here. And uh, got Rogi. We'll see how this goes. I don't know if I'm going to try and film it. I might just throw the phone in the dry bag just in case it's a uh, an early tip in, but we'll we'll take her slow and easy and report back. So stay tuned. All right, so we made it out on the water. Like I said, just a little lake reservoir. And uh, so far, so good. We've been paddling for 20, 30 minutes and he's just kind of chilling and doing his thing. So I'm gonna be quick here cause I didn't bring the GoPro and I really don't wanna dump a phone. So we'll keep going, see what happens. What do you think, big dog? All right, how we doing? So we got everything ready. We've been out in the canoe a bunch of times, getting used to it with Rogan, and now it's time to duck hunt. So we're gonna give you a quick walk through before we actually get out hunting of, of, of this duck hunting canoe build. And so what I got going on here, the really thing, really only thing I guess I built is the, the light system here. And I got plenty of headlamps, um, link down below if you wanna check out what I'm using. Um, but these are ox beam lights and they are bright. Uh, they're really, I think, meant for, you know, like a Jeep, like a car, um, for just added lights for, for off-roading and that kind of thing. But so these things are bright. I got two of them. I probably only need one, but I bought two, so I might as well throw them on. I got a huge, giant battery, put inside the cage, wire it all up, knock on wood. Uh, should be good. If it rains, not if, when it rains, I'm going to get a little creative, at least with the wiring and making sure everything stays dry. But as of right now, we are good to go with the light system. It works great. Um, like I said, I'll link those lights down below as well as how I kind of built this with a quick walkthrough video of that as well. Um, but we're just going to go do a quick run through of what I got going on for the, the, the duck canoe. And we're going to see if it works this week. So first off, paddle. Not going to get far without this. Uh, this is a beaver paddle and oars made in the U.S. of A. Um, Gonna roll with this to start. Uh, I have seen plenty of other canoe build videos out there where guys are using sort of a kayak type paddle. Uh, so if it's just you kind of sitting on your knees doing this. Uh, but for right now, this is what I'm gonna roll with and see what happens, see if I like it. Otherwise, I'm gonna definitely switch up if I don't. Uh, second up, good old chair. Uh, we're gonna primarily use the canoe to kind of get into spots. I'm going to cut it, tuck in the cattails, that kind of thing. So I got some camo netting as well that I'll probably throw over the canoe just to hide it a little bit better while it's 
tucked away. Uh, but anyways, chair for if I need to sit down in the, the cattails, chest waders, need them, love them. What else we got? We got a dry bag. Dry bags are key. Uh, I've done a few boundary water trips and these are a lifesaver, quite literally. Um, you know, anything you don't want to get wet definitely needs to go in a dry bag or it will get wet. Um, yeah, that, that's about it with that. That's just kind of dummy proof. Uh, second up, floating gun bag. Uh, this one is banded outdoors and so nice little gun case. Got old trusty still in there from this past weekend. The old Remington 870. Um, yeah, that's about it. If you drop your, if you drop this in the water, it should float for a bit at least. Uh, keep your gun dry, which is key. Uh, but anyways, got that in there. <clears throat> uh, life jacket, of course. Probably should start with that. Got a life jacket here. That's linked down below. If you tip, if you fall in, that kind of thing, you want a life jacket, especially if it's going to be cold out. Or you got waders on all this. Number one thing, wear a life jacket. Second, well not second up, but next up, just picked up this beast. This thing, I, I'm not kidding you, it's a beast, but it's got everything you need. I need to do a video of a complete walkthrough on this bag. It's the Shields XLT bag by Rigam Rigam Right Outdoors. That's a tongue twister, but this thing is sweet. It's got sunglasses holder, pouches everywhere, waterproof bottom. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the walkthrough right now. Nice over the shoulder bag. It's got all sorts of pockets, waterproof pockets here, waterproof pockets there. Shotgun shell holder, throw those on the waders. Um, but this bag, I guess it's probably a bad way to do this, but I'll just do it quick. Tons of compartments. This isn't a camera bag, but it's going to be perfect for my camera. I've already been utilizing it, just going back and forth from doing filming for deer hunting, goose fest, all that. But this thing is sweet. It's got a million and one compartments. All right, so like I said, it's got a million compartments in here. I got a little bit of everything, some lens, some bug spray, shells over here, another waterproof bag or zipper all the way down on this side. Calls, another just huge pouch here for GoPro accessories, SD card, that kind of thing. I'll probably need to make some room when it comes time to actually doing some true duck hunting. Uh, but right now, this is what I got rolling. But this thing is sweet. This zipper is closed. Boom, flip it over, top here, some space there, side here. Number one thing here is a cup holder for that early morning coffee, but yeah, Shields Blind XLT bag. If I'm butchering the name, sorry, but it is perfect. It's, it's already paid for itself, put it that way. All right, so here is the setup. These are the lights. They are bright, like I said, probably extra overkill, but It'll work. I got them rigged up here together. Uh, I'm gonna do a little bit more waterproofing here. Uh, cord runs all the way into this box here. Gonna waterproof that little hole there because water will find a way in there. I'll show you what I got going on inside the box. That side. Well, comes down through here. We got our little alligator clips. Positive and negative. I am positive that I'm not going to get shocked here, hopefully. One, and two, and there we go. The lights are working. And like I said, those suckers are bright. So definitely going to light up any swamp, pond, lake I'm going to find myself in. And that's that. That is the light system for my canoe. Pretty easy. Like I said, it's just, just basically like a little watertight. It's got a little seal all the way around here, watertight ammo box. And that little, well, that should be little, but that big battery fits right inside there. And this is actually a wild game innovation battery. And so we should be ready to rock. Rogan, you got any parting words of wisdom? Hmm? Nothing? You ready to do some duck hunting? Yeah. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. All right, so that wraps it for this episode of the Duck Hunting Canoe Build. Be sure to check out wildfaithpodcast.com. we got some sweet apparel, hats, all that stuff on there. 
Um, anything that you guys buy is goes straight back into the podcast. We can continue to pump out content and do what we've always said we've wanted to do all along is continue to spread the word of God through the outdoors and be able to connect with people through that same mission. So, again, thank you guys for, for watching, for following along. And if you aren't following along yet, be sure to go down below, hit that like, subscribe, check us out on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Obviously, you're watching this on YouTube. Um, all of the other social media channels, whatever there else out there that I missed. But yeah, it's time to go do some duck hunting. Stay tuned.